Are you a non-engineer worried about math? Are you someone who is not naturally comfortable with uh, tougher ideas in math? Are you someone who has uh, been always afraid of numbers? Are you someone who has not scored great in math or math as quant has been the section that has let you down in the previous cats? Should watch this video till the end. Now, nothing so much outrageously different that I am going to say. I am going to say things that are very likely to be common sense can categorize it as uh, but it is very vital especially if you have missed out on math so far you should watch this video i am going to speak from my own example uh, i have never been a fan of math uh, probably was not taught math the right way so i studied in matriculation and state board schools where uh, math was not math was an important sub subject but teachers no offense but we are focused more on finishing the syllabus and making sure uh, your exam ready when you are like halfway through your plus one plus two exam ready so you did not have enough time to someone to explain and digest and understand and like math it was never my strong suit right i am an engineer unfortunately or fortunately i did find my niche areas even in my engineering and in my first two jobs where found things that are not really linked to math right? but cat again math is very important how do you how do you go about it right? if you are not very comfortable with math let's say your number theory gives you jitters your permutation probability throws you off balance right start with arithmetic very 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 simple start with arithmetic what do you mean by arithmetic there is a video that will pop up which shows uh, the entire what you might want to categorize as arithmetic and how do you go about preparing for that. But anyway, let me list down a couple of topics that are present in arithmetic. Your percentages, profit and loss, averages. Uh, I would even go to the next of calling linear quadratic as a part of this because it is also uh, very vital, crucial for your basics. Your pipe systems, time speed distance, races. Uh, Simple interest, compound interest, AP, GP, all of these in some sense can be categorized under arithmetic. These topics are relatable in real life. So you take this topic, you read the question, you know, you can imagine that scenario in real life. Maybe a tiger uh, chasing a deer or uh, a tank overflowing in half an hour or uh, a milkman cheating you by adding water to the milk. There could be multiple different variants of the questions that are present but all of these questions are relatable in some form or the other in real life so you can imagine what is being asked in the question right these are the topics that i would in some sense uh, uh, under the top put it uh, put under the topic called as arithmetic right solve arithmetic you get there about some 14 15 questions in in a 34 question paper right two parts to it one is you get all 14 or 15 of them right you can cross the 90th percentile so especially if you are someone who said hey i have an overall of 95th percentile but my math score was 72 or my math score was even poorer than that right you need to up your game only in math this is a good fix to do that so if your arithmetic is good maybe follow it up top it up with geometry and slightly some more uh, log uh, functions inequalities but your arithmetic basics if set in place can help you cross 90th percentile without worrying without breaking a sweat now coming to the part where breaking the sweat people are going to be hustling in the cat exam trying to solve as many questions as possible let's say about 30 32 questions out of 34 questions as many as they can possibly right by looking at about 30 questions or 25 questions not 15 questions right so they need more time to process each question and they need more time to solve each question right in uh, let's say someone who does all of that has done all the topics and gets a 90th percentile has been consistently getting 90th percentile right let's say they take their time off and then say hey i'm going to do only arithmetic right solve 15 questions all of them right no mistakes done but you get about four minutes 60 minute paper 15 questions about four minutes to solve each question you can aram say solve and cross walk away with the 90th percentile in this exam that is at least that is what has happened in the last four five years for sure so this is how if you are very keen on my math is really bad i'm a non-engineer i'm not able to solve tougher ideas in math i'm very worried about math i'm i have a phobia of numbers all of this then you should probably look at arithmetic and give the importance that it deserves cheers guys best wishes Hush.